Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is just going to be a very short one, just a few places that you can go ahead and find some royalty-free photos just to start practicing your editing on. So some people that I talk to or that message me on Instagram say that, you know, where can they find some royalty-free photos that they can, you know, practice either editing within Lightroom or making like composite images within Photoshop. Where's the few good places to go and get them? So I've decided to put my top three websites that I use consistently to find photos to edit. Um, I even use them in my YouTube videos. And of course, if I was doing Photoshop composites, I use those as well. So before we start into the video, guys, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. It's Matthew underscore GKB. Send me a DM if you want to go ahead and contact me over there. Um, I'll check out your Instagram account and stuff. And of course, check out Sebastian as well. He's Sebastian underscore JWB um, when that loads. There we go. So this is his account here um, with some cool, funky, um, vibrant photos on. So if you want to go ahead and check us out, that would be absolutely awesome. So let's just dive into the video, shall we? So the first place um, that I want to look for royalty-free raw photos um, is wesaturate.com. Now this is the link up here, www.wesaturate.com. Um, it's a good place to go and get some raw files from. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best website if you guys have got any other alternatives to find raw files that are you know, good quality raw files. Um, please link them down below in the comments. That's perfectly fine um, because personally, I struggle to find good websites that contain raw files um, because the biggest challenge when you're editing photos um, within Lightroom is finding good quality raw files. Now. Of course, I take my own photos, I go out and I take lots of cool stuff um, in my own style of photography, but when I'm filming YouTube videos and I want a photo that's not necessarily um, a photo that I've taken in my own style, then I'll want to try and find a raw file somewhere online that I can go ahead and edit. And this is usually the best place that I go to to go ahead and find those photos. So, um, you know, you can see there's all a bunch of suggested ones here, but the you can go up and you can search for a photo so let's say for example um we wanted to find an animal photo right you can type in animal and click search now this is the problem you'll see once it loads is a you don't get that many results and b sometimes you get photos that are not raw and sometimes you get photos that don't necessarily match your search results so you can see here we get some cool photos so let's say we wanted to edit a photo of this parent you can come down and you can download the raw or the jpeg um, to try and find this one as yeah so this one for example is only a JPEG photo so not all of them are raw photos but you can sometimes find a cool um, a few good raw photos now of course the only problem is with downloading other people's raw photos is well one well the first thing really is you can't guarantee that the composition is going to be great so for example when I was taking a photo um, this is not my favorite composition I would you know, think about something different. So you've got to be creative in the way you crop things within Lightroom. Um, but it's a good place to go ahead and find some photos. Um, you might actually recognize this photo down here, um, which we use in our Dylan Firsty edit here um, by this person here. So you can credit them as well, I think. Um, I'm not really sure, um, but I usually ask people if anyone recognizes the artist to leave them down below in the comment section. Um, but that's the first place to go ahead and find some raw files. But you'll see if you do use this that the search result system here isn't the best. But, you know, see so what you can do. The next place to go ahead and find royalty-free photos and um, that usually I use more for, like, um, Photoshop composites and things like that is Unsplash.com. Now, you've probably heard of Unsplash. If you haven't, it's a great place to go to go ahead and get some royalty-free photos. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of photos on here, um, ranging from literally anything, like... You can get some really cool, like, you know, hit ones like this. You can get some really cool, actual, like, amazing photos um, just by anyone, literally anywhere that uploads. And it's very similar to kind of like Instagram. But usually um, the trouble is that I find with this is kind of the opposite, is people have usually already edited these photos in their own, like, editing style, um, in which case it becomes difficult sometimes when you're trying to make composite images and you have, let's say, for example, this photo here, and you try and use, you think this is a great, you know, you want to cut this person out, you want to put him into your own photo, but he's edited it in a style that's got lots of fade in it, lots of contrast and stuff, and you put it in front of a different background, you know, it's difficult to make them match. So sometimes it does take a lot of effort just trying to find the right photo, but um, it is a good place to go. And you, the search results actually work really well on here. So let's say, for example, I want to find, um, let's try that, desert. 
my Wi-Fi is being really slow at the moment, which is disappointing. But the, what I'm trying to get at is the search result system here works really, really well. And you can get, like, see, 20,000 photos here that you can just scroll through and try and find the one that works. So you could just spend hours on here trying to find the perfect photo. So, like, for example, this would be amazing um, just to do a really cool, quick composite image on. All you have to do is click download. Um, downloads the photo and you can go ahead and you can start editing these. Now these are royalty free so you can do what you want with them which is absolutely amazing especially if you want to do um, make your own composite images and then go ahead and sell them you can do that. That is a really nice composite photo I like that one. Um, but yeah you can also make an account you can like you know upload you can like photos and things like that. So that's the second one. Third place to go is pexels.com so like pixels but not it's pexels p e x e l s dot com um, again basically identical to unsplash but with this one which is also really cool is you can get royalty free videos so you can search for videos um, and get some royalty free videos as well as photos but the only trouble is with this one is there's I find there's slightly less on here than there is on unsplash um, you also get a crossover people who upload on unsplash also upload on pexels and as well as that, the videos, there's not really that many. Um, there are a few, but there's not that many. Um, and again, the same problem again with compositions and obviously someone else's photo. It may not be exactly what you're looking for, but you can get a call, um, like thousands of photos on here that are absolutely stunning. Um, lots of people on here are even better than I am at taking photos. Like, you know, people are really, really good. And they upload these photos, it's royalty free, and you can use them for what you want, which is absolutely amazing. So there we go, guys. That's just the end of this video. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, I just I was just asked by a few people on Instagram um, what royalty-free websites can I find to edit photos on, um, and I just thought I'd film a video as well just to help you guys out as well as people out on Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and ask me a question as well on Instagram, that's fine. You've got my Instagram handle up, boop, up there to go ahead and send me a message on. Also, before I finish the video, if you edit photos within Lightroom. And you want to go ahead and trial our presets for free. It's a free trial. You can go ahead and check it out. The top link down below in the description. Or the second top link. I'm not really sure. One of the links down below. You can go ahead and check out our presets. And as well, if you want to go ahead and learn more advanced editing techniques within Lightroom, we've got a free training down below. It's a one hour long. It dives really deep into editing photos within Lightroom. Um, the more advanced editing techniques and you get the option of getting onto our advanced Lightroom for beginners course down there as well for a huge discount. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, the links are down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you guys over there. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the